All right, you're welcome to the sports segment here on the AM Show. My name is Benedict Osu. As Mamavi started, then we are going to continue from there. Where Luka Modric yesterday was adjudged the Ballon d'Or winner. Also, for the very first time, we had a woman uh, winning the Ballon d'Or in the women's category. That was a uh, Norwegian Lyon player, Hagobeck. We'll show you highlights of what happened at that event. But we have to start here. Reactions have come in following the confederation of African Football Executive Committee's decision to disqualify Sierra Leone from the 2019 total Africa Cup of Nations qualifiers. Now, Sierra Leone is disqualified from the qualifiers and all its matches are annulled. And the decision is as a result of uh, the uh, FA failing to meet the conditions aimed at lifting a FIFA ban. Now, Communications Director of the Sierra Leone Football Federation, Ibrahim Kamara, describes the situation as unfortunate. It's actually a news that we see to be, to be quite a terrible one, basically. Because we all know how how much our oats, you know, as a nation, were alive in terms of uh, qualifying for the African Cup of Nations, uh, um, you know, this, this time around, having missed out of the the uh, the biggest football tournament in in in, in Africa, uh, basically, you know, for the past two decades. I mean, the last time we qualified was in was in 1996. So I mean, in all of the other times, this this was actually the the the, the qualifying series every Sierra Leonean was looking up to, especially having won against Kenya at home. I mean, we had three points, even though we lost against Ethiopia in our second match. But after that match, you know, the group was was clearly open. In other words, we we had the chance, you know, to to qualify. You know, but now we've been disqualified, you know, out of the group basically. So it, it's actually quite a very bad news to the country. Well, Black Stars stand coach uh, Ibrahim Tanko has reacted to the ruling from CAF, and according to him, the current situation will not change their plans of finishing the qualifiers on a high. I say uh, the most important thing is we must win our last game at home against Kenya, and then we can avoid all this calculation. If it is two teams that is going, we qualify, and if it is only one in our group, after beating them, we'll qualify. So I think it's the main thing that we have to concentrate on because we never know what is going to come, as you said. We are going to meet as a technical team and then look at a way forward. And I think we have to involve also the FA because everything will come from them because all the letters that will come will go to the FA so that they will also brief us at the way forward. All right, away from that, uh, Aqua Hata Folk, uh, new coach, Kim Grant, insists there is a lot of work to be done at the club after taking charge of his first training uh, of the side. Now, Grant trained with the players for the first time on Saturday at the Pubman Centre since his appointment a month ago. The former Black Star striker says they have to initiate new structures which will take the club to higher heights. There will be hard times, there will be challenges for myself, for the fans, for the club, but we have to stick together. And this is a new era. They have to have patience because it's a progress and things are not going to happen overnight. They will happen in time. As you see with myself coming in, it was a process. Uh, the sponsorship was a, takes time, negotiations, all those things. So fans have to understand that we as a team are going the right direction, but we have to be, be careful not to go ahead of ourselves. Every step has to be right because we want the foundation of this club and for long term to have stability and be successful.